Right now at five, a woman is found dead in the town of Shelby. Plus, Habitat for Humanity and Weezer Brothers are collaborating to repurpose items. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. A person is in custody after a woman was found dead in the town of Shelby today. The La Crosse County Sheriff's Office was called to a home on Redwood Court where they found the woman dead. A death investigation has been launched and deputies made an arrest later in the day. That suspect taken to the La Crosse County Jail and is held on a first degree intentional homicide police charge. The Sheriff's Office says the suspect will appear in court tomorrow. A man charged with possessing fentanyl is in Trumpelo County Court today. 30 year old Prashan Johnson was pulled over at the end of May for speeding. It was then discovered he was in possession of fentanyl and marijuana. He's charged with possession with intent to distribute fentanyl. During the court found today, the court found probable cause for the arrest and the case will continue. His pretrial is set for June 17th. Police are now saying at least a dozen people were hurt in a rooftop shooting in Madison. The shooting happened on Sunday around 1245 AM in the roof of Lux Apartments in downtown Madison. Police originally reported 10 people were injured, with nine hit by gunfire. But today, Police Chief Sean Barnes amended that total, saying two more people have reported injuries. The tally now stands at 10 people shot or grazed by gunfire, one person injured by broken glass, and one person who hurt their shoulder while trying to run away. Barnes says no one has been arrested in connection to the shooting, but that detectives are still investigating. The building housing a boutique in Chippewa Falls must either be repaired or destroyed. The order comes from the city after the floor of the apartment above it gave way and collapsed into the Iris Boutique last Monday. According to the city inspector, the damage from the collapse has left the building, quote, unfit for human use. The raise or repair order was sent to the building order, or owner on June 4th. If the building isn't raised or repaired in the next two months, the city may take that on themselves and pass off the cost in the form of a tax lien on the property. Police in Hoka are warning the public about recent black bear sightings. In a Facebook post today, Hoka police say there have been a black bear sighting in the Fremont area, with the most recent sighting being from across the baseball field. Police say the public should keep garbage cans inside and bird feeders empty until the animal eventually moves on. Minnesota DNR has been notified and a bear trap, bear trap will be set at the dog pound area. The public should report any bear sightings. Well, I couldn't believe it this weekend. I actually had to put on a sweater. No it was kidding. that chilly last evening, um, <laughs> yeah, last night. But uh, today was absolute perfection, Greg. Uh, yeah, uh, to me, I, I, I love this weather. Mm -hmm. Basically yeah. low humidity, but it's not great for all crops. Everyone else wants the heat and humidity, unfortunately. We are going to get some of that, but it's going to be later in the week. But overall, we still got river flooding along the Mississippi. Right now, the good news is the flood stage for Wab uh, Wabashaw is not going to go down probably till Friday now. Instead, we thought Sunday, now Friday. They have crested today at 12.44, so they are the only spot along the Mississippi that is in flood. Everyone else should remain action or below. Otherwise, this evening, there's really no complaints here, down to 60 degrees. We are going to see more clouds later on tonight, so it won't be as chilly, but overall conditions for this evening, no problems whatsoever. Few clouds out there, a few serious out there, but otherwise most areas are in the 70s. Bigger picture shows that system out to the west. That's the one that will provide some showers going into Tuesday. But for this evening and overnight, generally just increasing clouds, drier conditions, but more importantly, the temperatures won't get as chilly. We're looking more at the 40s, 50s instead of the 30s and 40s that we had this morning. And it will stay dry for the morning commute, but later on we'll kind of track down when the rain does arrive, how long it lasts, what's the rest of the week looks like, because we do have 80s returning and some humidity but it will be a while, so we'll break all that down a bit later. Thank you, Greg. Mm -hmm. Governor Evers is trying to increase the budget for the University of Wisconsin system. In an announcement to the UW Board of Regents, the Democratic governor said he will be requesting an $800 million increase over the state's next two-year budget period. Evers said the program cuts or consolidations. The announcement comes as five UW campuses have announced closures and several campuses have been forced to lay off employees, shift funding or make cuts and restructure portions of campus operations. The Chippewa Valley, the 
Chippewa Valley is welcoming two new urgent care clinics this month. I'll take this one, Emily. Oakleaf Clinics announcing the new facilities in Chippewa Falls and Menominee. They say it's to address gaps in health care services after the HSHS hospital closures earlier this month. The two drop-in clinics are for patients with urgent but non-life-threatening injuries or illnesses. The clinic in Chippewa Falls is located at the existing Oakleaf Clinic at 855 Lakeland Drive and is officially open for business. The one in Men Menominee will open June 17th at a former Purveya Clinic on Stout Road. A local contractor and nonprofit are teaming up to help reduce waste and repurpose materials. And today, Weezer Brothers and Habitat for Humanity are salvaging usable materials from two Holman schools under renovation. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall has the details. Jeremy. Ken and Emily, the renovations happening this summer at Viking Elementary and Holman Middle Schools are part of the $74.5 million bond project passed by voters in November of 2022. And while the project will include plenty of new materials and furnishings, they're not tossing all their leftovers to the curb. Items like cabinets and lockers can be reclaimed and kept out of the landfill, which is what Weezer Brothers and Habitat for Humanity spent the day doing. Habitat for Humanity wants to repurpose them for other other buildings and homes. The collaboration is part of Weezer Brothers' goal to be more sustainable with their construction practices. Community Outreach Director Natalie Hennigan says saving these simple items can make a big impact. We can get volunteers on site to help with the salvage. We can um, make a really big impact in just a few days by salvaging all of this material at once. So um, we are very much interested in all the different types of um, school projects that are popping up these days. So far, 314 lockers have been restored and sold to the public. Hennigan recommends anyone interested in buying the items, guys, stops by Habitat Restore Lacrosse on Wednesday. Ken and Emily. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, looking for some help with your kids' lunches while school is out? The La Crosse Area YMCA will be providing free meals for kids throughout the summer. The Y is partnering with the School District of La Crosse and the Salvation Army to bring meals to kids out in the community. The program is welcome to everyone 18 and under, and you don't need to register for a meal. It's part of the Y's goal to make sure every kid has access to nutritious meals. So every summer we have recognized that the kids still need um, at somewhere to get a meal every day, even though they're out of school. And so we've decided to step in and bring the uh, bring lunches to the community. And it's not just meals they'll have access to. The Y will also lead fun enrichment activities to keep kids' minds and bodies active. The program will be available through a number of locations in La Crosse County, as well as one location in Monroe and Vernon Counties. Well, the cost of home insurance keeps going up. Ways you can find affordable coverage and lower your premium after the break. Make some waves with Ultra Summer Cash Splash. Open a new Live Your Life Spend account before June 22nd and get a $50 bonus. No minimum balance, no monthly fees. Just make 20 debit card purchases within 60 days of opening your account and watch that $50 bonus fill your wallet. Plus, with cash back rewards, every purchase makes a splash. Don't miss out on the ultimate summer bonus. Open to ages 10 to 23. Open your account online today or at any Ultra office. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. Federally insured by NCUA. Windows are a lot like car tires. They all look the same, but they definitely don't all perform the same. Take our Starmark composite window, available exclusively at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. This window is 12 times stronger than vinyl, 2,000% more airtight, and 40% more energy efficient. All at a price less than what many companies charge for vinyl windows. Don't settle on your new windows. Insist on the best windows you can buy. Receive a free cordless honeycomb shade or take $150 off each window you purchase. A storm damage message from Knutson Roofing. If the roof on your home, business, church, or school was damaged by recent storms, call your local roof repair expert, Knutson Roofing at 715-ROOFING. Trust a local company with thousands of references to fix your roof, not the drive-through town companies that show up after a storm. 
Knutson Roofing, local, dependable. Did we say local? Call 715-ROOFING today. We are all here to support one another. Hi, I'm Greg. Hi, Hi Greg. Greg. I bought our vacuum at a box store. I was shopping for groceries and I came out with a vacuum. I did the same, I was shopping for clothes. Candles. Kitty litter. Hey group, we're not here to judge. We all made the same mistake before deciding to go to A1 Vacuum to make the right purchase. I'm sorry. A1 Kitty litter. Our business is big. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Home insurance rates have skyrocketed in the past few years, and people living in areas at higher risk of fires and hurricanes are being hit the hardest. Christine Lazar has tips on how to find affordable coverage. Like most Americans, Gaurav Barjuaj is dealing with inflation. Everything is going up. That includes the insurance on his 1,600 square foot house. Nationwide, home insurance rates are up nearly 38 percent since 2019, according to LendingTree. But it's much more in some states. Barduaj lives in Southern California, where his rates just skyrocketed 200 percent. Even if I shop around, I may be able to save like four, five, ten bucks a month. Uh, but like, it's going to be a hassle. So I think I have to. Live with that. I see people paying anywhere from five, six thousand dollars, where it used to be fifteen hundred or two thousand. Carl Sussman is an independent insurance broker. He says you can cut your premium if you're able to live with a high deductible. Well, don't just say I'll go from five hundred to a thousand. Look to go from a thousand to five thousand, even ten thousand if you can. And even though that seems like a lot, keep in mind if there's a large claim that you have, your home burns to the ground, for example. $10,000 is probably not going to make or break your being able to rebuild your home. Homeowners should also take a closer look at their policy. Personal property, that's your stuff in the house. If you look at that number and you say, I don't have that much personal property, then you can reach out to the carrier or your broker and say, let's lower that down. And some homeowners are going a step further. You have a leak right now, but you're not going to file an insurance claim. I am not filing an insurance claim. Eric Brooks' insurance costs more than his property tax, and he's worried a claim would only increase it. I couldn't imagine any more than this. Some insurance companies will lower monthly payments if you make upgrades like a security system, storm windows, or a fire sprinkler system. Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. Now, nationwide, home insurance rates are up nearly 38 percent since 2019, but in some states, it's even higher. Well, a road collapse is causing major problems in Wyoming at the start of the summer tourist season. From June through September, roughly 12,000 people use Highway 22 each day to reach destinations like Yellowstone National Park. All that remains now is an 80-foot drop that plummets into the valley below. Transportation officials say the mountainside has been shifting for decades at about a quarter inch a year. But when large cracks reappeared immediately after repairs, they knew a collapse was coming. It was moving about six inches an hour, and sometime during the night between Friday night, Saturday morning, it had uh, catastrophic failure. Thankfully, no one was injured, and it's unclear when the highway will reopen, and even just surveying the damage could take weeks. While officials look for some short-term relief options, traveling through the mountainous region could take up to three times as long. A series of shark attacks leave swimmers on alert. Where they've been and what's caused the spike after this. And we do have showers coming back for your Tuesday, but it won't be an all-day rain, maybe a few storms in the afternoon. The good news, if you want some 80s, I got those in the forecast, too. I'll break it all down coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. Senator Baldwin says, I'm not from Wisconsin, but this was my childhood home. Graduated East High, became a Badger in 86, where I've had my company for over 20 years. And this is where we live. It's our family home. I'm a fourth generation Wisconsinite. It made me who I am. If Senator Baldwin's not gonna be honest with you about where I'm from, what makes you think she'll be honest with you about anything? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message.
Looking for laminate or wood flooring? Why choose Carpets to Go? At Wisconsin's premier flooring sales, Carpets to Go has the best in selection and name brands. Forget what you thought about laminate. Today's laminate is better, stronger, and more stylish than ever. Wood flooring brings an elegance to any room, and there's a wood type and stain for every room. With free estimates and design, financing and installation available, there's no better choice than Carpets to Go at their convenient location in Onalaska. When you're looking to update your home, shop the Habitat Restore. The Habitat Restore offers a wide selection of new and gently used building materials and home furnishings at an incredibly low price. From furniture and cabinets, windows and doors, appliances, vintage items, reclaimed lumber, and everything in between. The Restore has what you're looking for, and new products arrive daily. So before you run to that big box store, shop the Habitat Restore, providing families with a place to call home. Asher Lasting Exteriors is committed to craftsmanship, innovation, and outstanding customer service as Western Wisconsin's trusted gutter and gutter helmet experts. Our highly trained certified technicians can install gutter helmet onto new or existing gutters. Gutter helmet blends in beautifully with your home, can withstand the heaviest of rainfalls, and is backed by a lifetime transferable warranty. Join us for our summer showroom sale Thursday, June 13th at either showroom in Eau Claire or on Alaska. Enjoy summer savings with up to 25% off your entire purchase at Asher Lasting Exteriors. Get an 11% rebate on everything, now at Menards. We carry automotive products and mechanic tools from the most trusted brands. This Master Force 3.5 ton floor jack lifts fast for quick and easy automotive work. Just $128.99 after rebate. From hitches to ratchet straps and everything in between, we've got all your hauling needs covered. Smart straps are designed to withstand tough outdoor conditions. Pick up a four pack for $16.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Well, swimmers are being asked to stay alert after a series of shark attacks in both Hawaii and Florida. A shark seriously injured a woman off the coast of Oahu on Friday. The same day in the Florida panhandle, a shark attack left a 45-year-old woman with significant injuries to her midsection. She also needed part of her left arm amputated. And, and in less than two hours later, a 15-year-old girl and her friend were attacked at Rosemary Beach. One had her left hand bitten off and much of her right leg will also need to be amputated. A shark researcher says the increase in reported bites is because the shark population is growing after decades of being endangered. I think people forget that we are actually visiting the ocean. Sharks, yeah, they live there. And, and I think it's important for people to know that you're visiting the home where sharks might be feeding and doing what they naturally do. The victims of these recent attacks are all expected to survive. And it is worth noting, experts say that despite these recent incidents, sharks are not necessarily looking to bite humans, and shark bites are still generally considered to be rare. Well, a really solid start to our work week. Yeah, cool beautiful region. outside. Sunshine all day long, but mm -hmm. we could see some showers coming our way tomorrow. For the latest, let's head on over to Greg. Yeah, definitely. Uh and enjoy the 70 degree weather chilly temperatures this morning, but we do have some warmth and some humidity coming away, but it's going to be later in the week, but uh, definitely not as chilly tonight. Still remaining dry. Then as we go in tomorrow, the AM commute should be dry. It's more looking around the noon, late morning, early afternoon, just some showers coming through. We could even see a storm in the afternoon too, as they reap fire once again, but that looks less likely more isolated storms for your PM commutes. So that's what we're looking at right now. Really the storm that's out to the west. That's the one in the eastern Montana, western Dakotas. That's a system that'll eventually be coming our way as it kind of rides and digs southeast along the jet. So we've been kind of in that similar pattern and we're going to continue for it for at least one more day. But for tonight, just increasing clouds, but the notice of temperatures will not see any 30s overnight. We'll just see increasing serious clouds. The lower they'll thicken towards the morning should remain dry. We'll watch this line begin to approach, but it's not going to really hit probably closer to Eau Claire. Maybe by nine, if it holds together, it will be weakening as it does push east. Then about that time frame, probably more 10 to 11 as you go closer to La Crosse. Just some light rain coming through. Like I said, the noon hour looks to be the best shot to see some light rain or showers, but you see by noon, we're starting to see it scatter out. It's becoming even weaker. It'll push east. We might see a few showers linger in the early afternoons, but then partial clearing as the front begins to push further east towards Red Wing. You can see the turn of the winds. That with the daytime heating could fire up a few more showers, and these would probably be then more thunderstorms towards the evening. So about five to about eight, we're going to see some lines or very small 
Showers and thunderstorms come through, so that could impact the evening commute. A lot of areas will, will remain dry throughout it, but still there's that chance that we should see clearing skies going into Tuesday. The severe threat with this, just the marginal level because of the daytime heating we could pick up. I think the threat right now, small hail and maybe some gusty winds with it. The threat's pretty marginal, but the timing is during the evening commute, so we'll keep an eye on that. Otherwise, going into Wednesday, that looks fairly dry. We have a system approaching from the west, but it's definitely going to be warmer. Notice those suddenly winds, so that's when the 80s will come back. But as we watch the storms, as we're going to see developing in the late afternoon, right along a boundary in southern uh, Minnesota, northeastern Iowa, we'll see thunderstorms develop, and towards the evening, and probably Wednesday later at night, we're going to see a line come through or a complex develop over that. That could be strong to severe, and then it's going to kind of surge southeastward towards southwest Wisconsin and northeast Iowa later in the night. So that's the threat we're watching for and could be a little bit of a flooding threat too if it sits just south of La Crosse too throughout the night. So a lot of changes could go on, but that's our next severe threat going. So Wednesday evening, we'll have to keep an eye on too for that threat. There's a slight risk. It has all the way down to just La Crosse because during the daytime, it'll probably be a little stronger. It'll weaken. The threat really maybe starts off as hail, but as you notice towards the evening, it starts surging and moving quickly, so the wind threat would be something we'll keep an eye on. So that's a second threat. And if we're looking at the weekend, of course, everyone's interested, and there's a lot of activities besides just the air show going on. Saturday looks good. A lot more questions going in Saturday night and Sunday, and notice the temperatures, upper 80s, so it'll be a little muggy and a little warm, potentially for the end of the, the event. But for tonight, dry conditions, not expecting any rain, not as chilly as last night, and as we go tomorrow, We'll see that showers come through, maybe a storm in the afternoon, warmer. We'll get back up near the upper 70s, near 80. And as we go to Wednesday, notice the climb in the temperatures. The thunderstorms come Wednesday evening and night. Pretty much dry Thursday with some chances at the best day, Friday, and then it gets more interesting as we go towards the weekend with all the activities going on. So we'll keep oh, an idea and we'll break that as we get closer to the events. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Craig. And when we come back, a cat joining a symphony. And a puppy is rescued from a tire rim when we return. Summer break is here, meaning your kids are home from school and may go into the pantry looking for an unhealthy snack. Tomorrow on News 8 Now This Morning, we'll have a few quick tips on how to keep snack time both fun and healthy. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. Working with Maxwell White was amazing. They were professional, answered all of my I questions. I give Maxwell White manner. my highest possible recommendation. Maxwell White did a fabulous job on our shower. Five Star Plumbing Service, done right. I always knew that I wanted to be a mom, and choosing that it was the right time was just a really exciting moment. It turned out that my baby had a diagnosis that would be incompatible with life. It wasn't just that my baby wasn't going to survive, but I was at risk for hemorrhaging when I delivered. I met with my doctor, and we went over the risks and benefits. I made a really informed decision, just like you would for any other procedure you're going to have. I'm a nurse, and I'm an example of a woman who had to have a procedure to be able to save my life and to not watch my baby die. And now Donald Trump supports laws that could take that procedure away across this country. 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it. Without that procedure, I would not have been able to get pregnant again. But the good news is a year later, I had my son. If Trump gets elected again, I fear for women. AB Pack is responsible for the content of this ad. Your adventure starts here at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. We've got something for everyone. Explore hundreds of miles of off-road fun. Cap off the night with the crew by spinning up even more excitement. Or slow it down and relax. Just the two of you. Your adventure awaits outdoors, indoors. Call or visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls today. Experience the difference. Trail Riders package available. Maxwell White celebrates servicing the La Crosse Coulee region for 30 years. Much has changed, but not our commitment to you. Providing local, honest, and quality plumbing repairs and solutions. That's Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. You're watching News 8 Now.
Expect more. A live symphony performance went viral after an unexpected guest upstaged the performers. Yeah, at this orchestra performance in Turkey, a cat decided to saunter across the stage during Beethoven's pastoral. Now, if you look closely, you can see smiles on the faces of the musicians. Social media viewers made the video of the concert go viral, naming the cat the Meowstro. Oh, that's very on fitting. Point. Well done. <laughs> Meanwhile, a puppy in Arizona tried on a new collar for size, but the poor dog got stuck. Zeus was found wearing a tire rim after he tried to crawl through and then got his head stuck. Oh. A firefighter was called to the rescue, and he was able to free Zeus from his too tight collar and perform a quick puppy medical exam. Zeus was just fine after being freed, and now he needs knows stay away from those tires oh my gosh and look how little so he's gonna his name is zeus yeah what what dog is that what did it look like a german oh, shepherd gosh. something like that i hope he ends up not quite a really german shepherd it looked like a little different to fit his name <laughs> i know such a tiny little cute bu puppy with the name zeus but yeah. i'm glad thinking he was, he was probably invincible and gonna go right through that tire both had their mind moments to shine in different ways the and cat sure and the puppy <laughs> all right we'll have another look at tonight's forecast after the break Are you in need of a new driveway or parking lot? Call North Central Paving for all your asphalt needs. We specialize in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installation. Call North Central Paving today. Here's to the farm and fleet dads, the ones who work hard and get the job done right, the ones who take pride in what they do and take the time to pass it on. This Father's Day, get your dad a gift he'll love, like this continental pizza oven, just $39.99. $30 off a 20-piece gear wrench ratcheting wrench set. Lund roll-up tonneau covers, $100 off after sale and mail-in rebate. Plus, a Blaine's Farm and Fleet gift card makes the perfect Father's Day gift. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Are you ready to build your future? Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor is hiring and wants you to apply. Starting wage for laborers up to $18 per hour with a $2,500 hiring bonus. No experience but a great attitude? Then apply today. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. A storm damage message from Knutson Roofing. If the roof on your home, business, church, or school was damaged by recent storms, call your local roof repair expert, Knutson Roofing at 715-ROOFING. Trust a local company with thousands of references to fix your roof, not the drive through town companies that show up after a storm. Knutson Roofing, local, dependable. Did we say local? Call 715-ROOFING today. Does your child have sleep disorders, ADHD, ADD, speech issues, or mouth breathing? These are a few symptoms of a myofunctional disorder. If left untreated, it can cause disrupted sleep, TMJ pain, snoring, and other health problems. At Allen Dental, our myofunctional therapist will develop a plan to retrain the face, mouth, and throat muscles, leading to better sleep, mouth alignment, and nasal breathing, which has so many benefits for overall health. Contact Allen Dental today to schedule your appointment. Is your gravel or dirt driveway migrating into your yard? Then it's time to call North Central Paving. Specializing in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installations, North Central Paving can handle all your asphalt needs. Call 608-781-4423 today to get your free estimate. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. All right, tonight uh, still dry, not as chilly. We're looking more at the 50s and 40s. Won't see any 30s. Increasing clouds, but remaining dry through the morning commute. The rain really arrives probably late morning to about early afternoon. Won't be a lot of rain, just here and there. Showers, maybe some light rain. Could see a thunderstorm in the evening, and then notice the temperatures Wednesday. We're going to pop up to the mid-80s mm -hmm. with more storms coming Wednesday night. So 80s are back. All right. 80s are coming back. Yeah. Thanks for joining us at 5. We'll see you at 6.